So we went to Holland, and the whole plan was to see with my old group there, because I, I, I'm from Holland, and in 1973 I started a group there, and it's still going, and I was 19 years old. I didn't know how old I am, almost 66. Anyway. Uh, and, uh, well, in Holland it was overcast during, the <laughs> during that day. It was clear, clear and clear for days before. And of mm -hmm. course then, poof, it was all overcast. So we had some fun, <coughs> maybe even a success. But, uh, so uh, we, had, uh, we had the youth group basically, now they're all old. <laughs> of the chapter of the Royal Dutch Society for Meteorology and Astronomy, which is in Dutch, the Koninklijke Nederlandse Vereniging voor Weer en Sterrenkunde. Uh, and at the time when I um, uh, was one of the co-founders of the group, uh, the main chapter, uh, it was just uh, without the Royal, without Koninklijk, because it wasn't 100 years old yet. Anyway, but first we went to Iceland. So they were going to visit, I wasn't visiting Holland for the Mer Mercury transit, I can promise you that. <laughs> but a sort of, uh, oh yeah, can I still see that there? Yeah, yeah, it's about, uh, and it will end, uh, it went, will end after the sun sets. So that was maybe not so good. However, I uh, wanted to see some f family and friends, I have still lot, uh, lots of friends that are like family and I still have a bunch of cousins. So it was almost every day that we saw somebody. <laughs> but first we went to Iceland because we went with Iceland there and very cheap, uh, about uh, 600 and something for a per person return ticket and they give you a opportunity to stay over, I wonder why, uh, without paying anything extra, uh, except for the stay itself. Oh yeah, you're spending some money there. Yeah, oh, it, it turned out that it was very expensive to eat out. <laughs> we had a nice bowl of soup for $15 equivalent, <laughs> kroner there, is there the Iceland and kroner there, but the equivalent of $15, yeah, so. Uh, but it was very good soup, but not really worth fifteen dollars. Uh, it's not a very. It's in service. It's about um, Belgium, Holland, Luxembourg, and a little bit of Germany together, basically. And uh, there's three hundred and sixty thousand people, and hundred and twenty-five about are living in Reykjavik, which is the capital of. Uh, of uh, Iceland. Now, uh, it is a port of entry for the European Union. Uh, Jim had a Canadian passport, I used my Dutch passport, I went zoom zoom through the automatic uh, <laughs> custom uh, entry and Jim was standing in line with 300 people. So <laughs> and I was chuckling, of course. Then later on I was very jealous when we came back and uh, when the uh, custom agent says, why don't you have a stamp in, in your passport? Because I used my Canadian passport. And I said, oh, I didn't want to admit that I had used two passports. Mm -hmm. And then I said, well, because I came in with my Dutch passport. Oh, do you still want to stamp in your Canadian passport? Boom, yes, please. So that was what I got. <laughs> well, it was kind of fun. Anyway, there's Jim in a sort of typical downtown area of Reykjavik. Well, after riding around with a normal bus, this is Jim's normal way of exploring things. And I just go along because I don't mind that. I like public transit as well and to explore things. Uh, we went everywhere and in Reykjavik and uh, thought we could go around and then gave it to the sort of the uh, end point and the driver went out to say, everybody out! Okay, I uh, didn't know that that would happen, but he wanted a break. So, so later on we came out of the station and no bus. So we had some adventures, but finally we, uh, we had lots of fun to just tour around, go to museums and so forth. And now uh, 
gym, other gym. We didn't go to the penis museum because we were there when it just closed. <laughs> they evidently have members <laughs> from all kinds of uh, sizes and uh, species. So, well, maybe another time. <laughs> uh, the uh, finally, the last day, we decided to be real tourists and do a little bit of uh, touring with a, a, a bus tour, the Golden Tour. And we visited, the first thing we visited was the continental divide between uh, the American and European tectonic plates or continents. And uh, they're moving apart one inch a year. <coughs> if you think of that, that is quite speedy. They had partially uh, paved roads or walkways and they're in trouble with that because it cracks all the time. <laughs> so um, now let's hope this works. That's it works, the automated thing. So this is handier. You have your uh, boardwalk. So even though it kind of can be in trouble too. But, yeah, uh, when you're walking down the middle, are you in the North American plate or the European plate? Well, that's a good question. <laughs> You're sort of in between. <laughs> and uh, most of it is basically, uh, um, uh, I don't know, can you hear anything? Or do we have to turn the sound on? Oh, oh maybe so. Yeah, let's see what I can do. Okay. I usually turn it down so when you have I don't have to listen to you. Yeah. Anyway, I just made a remark here. I should take a picture of it, which I didn't do. Yeah. So we were here. <coughs> I think you can start uh, signs around because you would get a uh, totally burnt hand and uh, uh, it was very 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 hot <laughs> how big it is because you see the uh, walkway here and uh, we want to go down there too but the bus said uh, was going to leave so didn't have time to do that. Anyway, on November 1st Jim had his birthday and uh, we thought well let's see can we find a vegan restaurant. Well there were a whole number of them and this one was the one that was recommended the most. Glow. So. Even in Fishy, I uh, right, Jafik, they have vegan restaurants. And 
a vegan restaurant with an attitude. Anyway, we, we had lots of fun there. It was very good food. I gave it five stars on the Google Guide. And um, uh, he enjoyed himself. And he thought, well, maybe I should get a beer for my birthday. But $10 for a beer it was a bit much, he thought. So he settled for a hot chocolate. So off I thought. But then we came out, and we back back to our uh, hostel, and uh, we see suddenly the whole street full with people. You could walk over the hills, and, and it was just amazing, busy, cheering. And I thought, wow, those Icelanders, they know how to cheer and, and celebrate in the night. And, uh, and suddenly Jim got a beer pushed in his hand, and I got a beer pushed in my hand, and then I asked, what's going on? And they said, oh, uh, they are introducing a new Danish beer, and everything is free. <laughs> OK. <laughs> lots of music, lots of this, and Jim got his beer after all. <laughs> Oh yeah. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, here's a drone taking pictures of the crowd. And music. And lots of people. And I wondered, was Doug Ford here? Now his beer cost one dollar. This was free. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, we didn't get much sleep because the celebration went on all night and we heard it right outside our hostel. And we had to take the bus of 4 a.m. to go to Amsterdam, to, to go to the airport, and to go to Amsterdam. So here we are, and that was our luggage. Just, Just carry on. Yeah. You know? And that, that was good. So, well, it was uh, unfortunately, you know, I'd hoped very much that it would be clear we could go on a Northern Light tour. but. Uh, I've seen terrific normal lights over here, so I shouldn't complain. Um, <coughs> but it would have been nice to see it in Iceland. And, uh, yeah, it was a hundred bucks though. I don't care. <laughs> 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 I'm on the holidays. <laughs> anyway, so when it was overcast, so we didn't. But it was a nice uh, sunrise uh, from the plane. So. And then it came to my country, the old country, and to my surprise, I said, what is that water over there? And I looked on Google Maps, and I think, wow, that is Marken, which is a little island with a lot of traditional clothing. If you ever go to Holland, this is the place to go to, Marken and Volendam, because they still have the traditional clothing. I've never been there, and <laughs> maybe I should. Uh, oops. Ah. Um, here is uh, North uh, uh, Sea, uh, no, North Holland's Canal, uh, well, more, more like Northern Canal as much. And this is the North Sea Canal, which uh, carries all big ships to go to Amsterdam Harbor. But Rotterdam has a much bigger harbor than Amsterdam does. Uh, we saw many friends and family, and we even went uh, to Germany with the ICE, uh, the Intercity Express, to Frankfurt, 300 kilometers an hour. First, it starts off very slow. Well, it still speeds out of the station. I got a clip of that, but I don't have it in here. Uh, maybe, uh, do we have a 101 on the 27th or yeah, not? Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, uh, I might uh, insert some more stuff. <laughs> anyway, um, if you will have me, if you are not uh, having too many other people. Uh, anyway, uh, very interesting, very slow. You go first like 100, 120 kilometers, yeah, it's sort of normal. And suddenly st things start whipping by and you go, whoa, 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 what's going on? And uh, by the way, I can recommend Eurail. You can only get it here. You cannot get it in Europe. Uh, just going to Frankfurt, paid for the rest of the, uh, uh, paid for the ticket, and then we still had three days to whip around Holland for nothing. Uh, well, on that 
on that URL. So uh, they want us to go there and spend the money. They don't want yokel, local yokels <laughs> to, to, to get hold of this uh, thing. You have to have your passport, you have to show that you're in Canada, and then you can get it. So, but I can recommend it if you go to Europe. Anyway, so it's waving around, and then we had an indicator how fast it went, and it went up to oh, just over 300 kilometers an hour. So that was quite impressive. I just don't want to think of all the <coughs> birds and so that get scooped up by this. But anyway. Very good concept. <laughs> yeah, transporting me from one end to another. I don't know about that. But that's how it is. Uh, well, then we went to Bully in Cuisine Bay near Emmen, I mean, near Germany. And uh, Bully is a, a bit of, of, of a clown. And he's, uh, I don't have anything about that, but he loves Halloween and being a zombie and so on. This is his girlfriend. And uh, we always have fun together. Anyway, where that is, well, first of all, we <coughs> have here in the Netherlands. And uh, Amsterdam is over here. We were <coughs> at, um, at the farmhouse with a good friend of mine uh, who I know for over 40 years. And it's another Ellen. And uh, a vegetarian youngster. And uh, all the youngsters are not elders. Well, elders. <laughs> and uh, but I well, I lived in Drenthe, and Bully uh, was there on the side, and you can see here the northern provinces, uh, Friesland where they speak Frisian, which you cannot understand as a Dutch person, uh, even though you can learn it. It's really a different language. It's uh, like Old English. And uh, then you have uh, Groningen, where the university is, so the Klein, the Bauma lives, for instance, for the common charts, and a lot of uh, you know, famous people, Captain, who uh, was involved with uh, finding out that uh, the our Milky Way was actually uh, a galaxy, and so forth, and so forth. Um, and here is Ellen, and I lived in Hall of Fame for 14 years after 15 years Amsterdam. And this is the logo of our uh, chapter. I made that. But you know, the old fashioned way with a uh, road ring pen, and I think you have another kind of pen here, you know, with two pens. And Bluey. Here is Big Evan, Evan is bigger than Hope of Fame, and Cosina Fame is over here. And he's pretty dark, he's, he's in a pretty dark area, very close to the German border. So we had some friends over that were prepared to do some observing, we hoped, but it was totally overcast and it was so cold, so cold. So Bully can never have a normal face. Actually, this is his normal face. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Andy Benjamin's and Enos on the background. And well, we know this guy, I think. <laughs> anyway, uh, Jim really is cold, and Bully thinks he's cold too. So and it's overcast. It doesn't look good at all. We're setting up here because, look, it's, it is ever just uh, it's, it's a bit clear. <laughs> oh no. So how big a one is that? It's that. How big is this? Oh. It's uh, 127 millimeter. Yes. Oh, and, uh, and Bully is busy too. Are you going to put in a big one? Jeez. Okay. Ah. It is, uh, it's r really a bit uh, chilly. Uh, look at the guys. Nice horses. Yeah. Okay, I shouldn't have had her behind, so probably. Is he balancing? <laughs> yeah. If it 
was bad. Yeah, it was real well. Yeah. So that is good. This is Enus. This is Enus. And there is Boobies. Okay. The big 35 centimeter comes out. How much is that? 14 inches, I think. Orion. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bully. But uh, I don't know. It looks bad. We hope that something will happen. Hold on. Very interested. Can you follow? Ask this guy. Oh yeah. We came in answer. I forgot what it was. Yeah. Bully, bully gets the whole shebang out. Yeah, yeah. Suddenly crowding uh, because it, there was some wind, like, some sun coming out. Yeah. It was snowing here, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> As you see, yes, it does. No, it doesn't go very hard. And it became worse and worse after a while. He says there is no filtering. Well, well, they had to the filter it. They couldn't see the thing because there was no sun. So we decided to do projection. So that's what we ended up with. He warns him, don't look through it. And I still have an old one that's no. about 10 years old. No, no. Not trustable. No. I say hell. <laughs> 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 you, you really see a shadow so to, to line it up. It's just um, uh, some clearing going on. So oh, we have big hopes happy. now. Yay! Yeah, I hope it's, uh, I hope so. So we have, uh, we, we are looking at, uh, here's Andy Benjamins and Bully Bullens and, and Chadet and, and, yes. I have to thank you. Bully Bullens is actually a nice speaker. Yeah, they are four. Yeah, 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 yeah. For the astronomy club in, in, in Kitchener Waterloo. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, bad. Yeah, it's bad. Anyway, his name is Bullybullens is even in Dutch a very strange name. <laughs> it, it's getting better, it's getting better. Yes, 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 yes. Andy, Jim, and uh, it is so cold, it's so cold. Yeah, yeah. Let's do this. This is almost always a good secret. <laughs> Thank you. 
I enhanced it, and uh, Ines did the same, and um, uh, but he, I didn't get his, uh, his picture. But you know, then you wonder, is it not some dirt on, uh, on, on paint? And uh, then I looked at some more pictures, and he was definitely again. Okay. So, yes. Oh, more than what we got. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and here it is. No, sorry, here it is. <laughs> anyway, so that, that gives you, this is it, people. This is it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't have anything better to show, but at least we got something. And uh, uh, if you think how far away uh, it is from here, 100 million kilometers, <laughs> it is just a bit bigger than our moon, and that you actually can see it. That is, I, uh, that is quite amazing. So, I, uh, I, I take it. I take it. I'm happy. Anyway, we are happy too. <laughs> anyway, this is Ryan Obama. Uh, not this person. I don't know who it is, but this is Ryan, and he makes the comet charts with the comparison stars and support at uh, Eno Plaza Astro. So. <coughs> and that's it. Uh, thank you very much for listening. Mm. Any questions, Carol? Yeah. Has anybody read Journey to the Center of the Earth by uh, Jules Verne? Yes. Yeah. Anybody remember the description of Iceland in that book? It was, exactly. and it was probably the most impoverished, yeah. desolate, yeah. and unpleasant place on the planet, according <coughs> to Jules Verne. Mm. And it's cert certainly improved it quite a bit since then. Yeah. <laughs> no, it is still barren and awful. And I wouldn't like to live there, but it is a very interesting country, let's say that. The volcano he talks about where they go in? Yes. It's actually a real volcano. Yeah. 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 And, and next time we're going for longer than just three days, because uh, it was not long enough. Thanks, Alan. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you.